All right, so in this problem, we are given a function, and we want to see which of the following statements is correct regarding our function. Now, we have a linear function. In order to visually see our function best, we are going to graph it. Now, in order to graph, we have to find two points to plot, and that's going to be our intercepts. We can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, so we're going to set x and y equal to 0. So when x equals 0, we have 0 plus 9 equals 3y. So we can divide 3 on both sides in order to isolate our y. And we are left with 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So our first point is x equals 0 and y equals 3. Our second point is when y equals 0. So let's plug that in. We have x plus 9 equals 3 times 0. So when we simplify this, we have x equals negative 9. And so that's going to be our second point. Now let's quickly sketch out a graph and plot our two points. So we're going to label our x-axis and our y-axis, and now we're going to plot. Our first point is when x equals 0 and y equals 3, so that's going to be right around here. And our second point is when y equals 0 and x equals negative 9, which is around here. So now let's connect our two points to see our linear function. All right, so now that we have our linear function, let's take a look at our answers. Answer A states that when x is greater than or equal to negative 9, so that is right over here, and greater than is this direction, then y is not negative. Well, this seems to be correct because all the y values seem to be positive. And at this point where x equals negative 9, the y value is 0, so that is not ne negative nor positive. And therefore, A is the correct answer. All right, now let's read over B, C, and D and see why they are incorrect. B states that if x is greater than 3, so greater than 3 is around here going this direction, then y is negative. Well, we see that all the y values are positive once we cross this negative 9 over here. All the y values become positive. And therefore, B is incorrect. And we can move on to C. C states, if x is less than 3, so x is less than 3, that's the opposite direction, then y is positive. Well, we see that y is positive until we reach this negative 9, and then the y values become negative. And therefore, C is partially correct, and therefore cannot be the right answer. And D states that if x is less than or equal to negative 9, so that is this direction of the negative 9, then y is not negative. Well, we see that at negative 9, the y isn't negative nor positive, but once it crosses to the left-hand side, the y's become negative. And therefore, d is also incorrect, and a will remain our final answer.